time to put on the show. Game Trailers, 2011 Game of the Year Award. Best Motion Controls. A few years ago, many would have laughed at the prospect of motion controls having a stake in the industry. Flash forward to 2011, and it seems like everyone wants a piece of this giant pie. Nintendo continues to ride the success of the Wii and the Motion Plus, but Microsoft is seriously challenging the big end's dominance with the Kinect. The majority of this year's nominees are Kinect exclusives, with Sony's move barely making a blip. Does 2011 finally signal a changing of the guard? And the nominees are... Child of Eden. A spiritual successor to Rez, Child of Eden has been touted as one of the premier Kinect games. Though it supports a traditional controller, the real way to immerse yourself in this synesthetic trip is with the aid of motion controls courtesy of the Move or Kinect. The sights and sounds that race through your mind converge, evoking a sense of pleasure rarely seen in the medium, placing you in the music as you swipe, shoot, and clap. Dance Central 2. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get. There are plenty of rhythm games that take advantage of motion controls already, but none can claim the level of authenticity that the Dance Central series offers. Rather than stepping on arrows on a pad or waggling a controller, Dance Central 2 requires you get in touch with your inner groove as it tracks the smallest movements. You may laugh at the concept, but there's no arguing that Dance Central 2 is the key reason why Kinect continues to fly off store shelves. Okay, who's hosting the after party? I am so there. The Gun Street. Twisted Pixel is no stranger to innovation, and the trend continues in its latest offering. The Gun Stringer is a typical shooter set in the Old West, but there's a catch. You're playing the role of a puppeteer directing the protagonist through a stage play. Live audience footage is cleverly interwoven into the action, creating a surreal setting with a postmodern vibe. Using your whole body to navigate treacherous terrain and survive ridiculous shootouts amounts to a traditional gaming experience made possible only with Kinect. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Call us skeptical, but we had our doubts about Zelda embracing Motion Plus technology, but in the end, Nintendo has delivered. The one-to-one -one swordplay works as advertised, but you also have to get creative with your swings to bring down foes that won't succumb to random waggling. It goes beyond the swordplay, though. Virtually every item makes use of some form of motion controls, whether it's rolling a bomb, drawing your bow, or directing a flying mechanism to its destination. Skyward Sword proves a core experience can thrive on motion controls alone. Sesame Street, Once Upon a Monster. Wow, that's amazing! Oh. Mentioning Sesame Street and video games in the same sentence more than likely conjures up images of dull edutainment, but the ingenious minds over a Double Fine challenge the notion. Once Upon a Monster successfully preserves the essence of the TV show and allows young ones and their parents to step almost literally into the shoes of Elmo and Cookie Monster as they complete a series of mini-games in an effort to reach the end of each chapter. It's delightful and light-hearted fun that can be appreciated by all. You don't like it, Slimy? Well, there's no accounting for taste. And the winner is... The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword represents the culmination of years of creativity dating all the way back to the original Wii Sports. With Kinect gaining momentum, it's interesting that the originator of motion controls is still showing others how to do it right in 2011. While other motion-based games do one or two things well, Zelda incorporates it into every iota of its gameplay with style. We've wondered if a motion-based core game can be successful, and Skyward Sword proves that one can.